Hello. Hello. Welcome to the miniature world of Kit and Caboodlers. We are a mother-daughter team who spend our time searching various places around Britain, such as beaches and woodlands for old forgotten treasures. We then bring these treasures home to create miniatures and dolls for our handmade 1940s sugar box dolls house. Come along and see what we made this time. And as always, we hope you enjoy. Hello. Hello. So recently we went on a... Tried to go on a mudlark. Didn't find anything, but Mum did notice a lot of feathers, feathers. around. Beautiful feathers. And then Mum had the wonderful idea, because she's seen them before, that we should try and make some doll's house furniture out of feathers. Because there are lots of examples of them online where Napoleonic war prisoners would make all sorts of things. You quite often find bone dominoes that they've made and apparently also miniature furniture out of feathers and they're stunning so we thought we would try and make our own yeah it was a little bit more complicated than we did <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how this goes and we hope you enjoy that one will be very good for building something let's see what we do that is very oh look at that one that is beautiful. That would be nice just in a vase in the doll's house. Nice. I'm not sure if that's mud or part of it, but I think the middle bit will be good for the chairs chair. So this is something a bit different. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Never done this before. No. I seemed quite confident when I was collecting feathers that it was going to be fine, but I mean, we've got some quite thick Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need the pictures, really, of what they used to make doll's house furniture out of feathers. They did. So we're going to try and make a study chair out of feathers. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they used to use the quills. Quill. <laughs> um, as the... Some main structure. Yeah, and then they used the feathers. So they just used like sometimes they just use like little tiny bits of the feathers. Sometimes they use yeah. bigger bits of the feathers. I mean, the seat. It'd be like feather seat. I mean, that yeah. would be quite nice for a seat. Maybe. That one, maybe. So we need. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? That's a beautiful feather. Um. So we need four. We need to decide how big we're going to make it, and then Shall we need I get the desk. Yeah. So how tall does a chair need to be? Um, well, it would tuck under, wouldn't it? Yeah. But we don't. It doesn't have to be really. It just no, so it doesn't have to be realistic. It yeah. has to be big enough to seat a that. small light doll on. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Slightly slippery, aren't they? Um, that tall, yeah. leg wise. But, um, I'm not going to do anything. That's just... not how you would do it, though. You, that because you need it. You know, when oh, you look at a structure of a chair. I it get just you. goes right up the back. Okay, so it? how tall do we want the chair? A bit taller than that. A bit taller than that. That tall. Yeah. I mean, this they're one... almost curved. Yeah, that would look nice like that, yeah, wouldn't it? Would. With like a back, and then you could yeah. put the feathers down, like a ladder back, but a ladder back of feathers. Yeah, maybe we could do that. So this process is possibly the longest we've ever spent on a craft, and we had about two hours worth of footage, and we had a whole half an hour clip trying to figure out what to do until we decided that we should take a different approach. So. Like a 
bit going across. Yeah. Like that. Uh huh. That's that would nice. look nice. Is that too big? Well, we could make it. We could make it. We could make it shorter, mm -hmm. couldn't we? I just want to make loads. <laughs> well, let's just make one for a start. <laughs> we could do that one. I mean, we uh -huh. could, you know. Uh -huh. We'll have a dining room one day. Yeah, I know. We? Make a whole <laughs> we'll have to make a whole load of feathers. We have to pick up all the feathers. If we, I think it would be good for dining room. I don't room. know if they aren't too thick. <laughs> really? It's got to be sturdy. Maybe we should both make our own chair. Maybe we should both make a feather chair. <laughs> <gasps> okay, we'll both make a feather chair. Okay. Okay. Oh it's, no. This is going to require a lot of editing okay. down this film. Yes. <laughs> Very long. Okay. So I'll just go more? with what we had. Cause you... Yeah, you take those bits and I'll. Because you want thinner. As I want thick. Scissors. What feathers are you using for your feathery bit? Um. I, I don't mind. I, I, in my head, what I'm going to do is just have a little triangle feather here and a little triangle feather there, so okay, I can okay. use any bit of. Okay, I'm not using okay. a, any fancy feathers. Okay. Nice. More for me. I want to make loads. <laughs> well, like I say, we'll have a dining room one day. Ah, it's quite fiddly. It is, yes. <laughs> but fun. You let your imagination run wild with these, can't you? You can do all mm -hmm. sorts of things. Very cool. Why have you got both pairs of scissors? I don't know, but I'm in a really bit sticky, Sorry. sticky situation. <laughs> ah! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to have to... Go do the your thing and just just do it. Have we got any tiny pins? There's no way a doll is ever going to be able to sit on either of these chairs. <laughs> Oh, are you going to leave the pins in? Yeah. Oh, part of it. that's good. And then that will keep it together. That's clever. That's very good. Thanks. Oh. What do you mean, oh? I should do that. I just figured it would make it stronger. I think it's going to be long enough. There you go, ain't pretty easy? Okie dokie. There, look at that. It actually works. Ah, okay. And that'll be what stronger. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> I've turned it to showing you. Nice, okay, I need more feathers. You don't seem to be using many feathers in yours. I haven't really done much. <laughs> Figuring out how to stick it together, to be honest. Are these the smallest pins you could find? Yeah. I want bigger pins. Oh. Well, no, they're just pin size. Do we have any longer pins? Extra long pins? Oh, I don't think so. Nope. Pins it, don't work. They do work. <laughs> Not for mine. Not perfectly for mine. Now. I should probably make the design on the back before I... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's I'm like really making sorry. an arrow or something. I'm really sorry. Um. Bring the glue out now. Yeah, there's ones like that, isn't it? Like that. Oh, yes, that's very nice. Not in shot. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to make another one of those. 
I. Hmm. What? Mine's <laughs> going to be incredibly delicate. You're not making yours on the screen. I'm not, no. Why? Mine's mainly just waiting for glue to dry. Oh. <laughs> At the moment. Black side up or brown side? Black. Black. Sorry, Kate. Is it okay? Little fiddly. Really, really fiddly. Ah. Shaking hands are not happy. I need a feather that's the same size. It's alright. <laughs> no, 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 no. No! Oh, it's fallen in. It's fallen in. <laughs> Uh. Oh, quite a lot of glue on it now. Oh, come on then. Man is coming together quite quickly, actually. Watch me struggle. They're beautiful. I like them a lot. What? Feather chairs. Mm -hmm. Is this going to stand up? <laughs> wow, it's so beautifully fine. It's like a clunky... It stands! Yeah, but there's no chance a doll is ever... Any, can't even put a pillow on this, it'll collapse. <laughs> See if it can take the weight of the literal feathers that are going to be in the middle and the back. How any of these have survived right. for us to be able to see pictures of them? I think I'm... Slightly wonky. Maybe I should put a bit across the middle. Not that bit though. All I need is only over there. Yours looks really good. Yours looks like a chair. <laughs> oh, it's fiddly though. Yes. I don't know how fancy to go. I don't know how fancy is too fancy. <laughs> Mine's very pedestrian. <laughs> I 
ideally I would want this as a Ooh, arm but that's I beautiful, but cannot another find one. another piece so I don't know if maybe I should put it you know do like that oh wow yours is really pretty but then I don't know what to do for oh, I want that to be the arm but I think it's too delicate to be the arm that wouldn't work no that wouldn't work That's too fancy now. Too fancy. It's too pretty, much. it's nice, it's very different to mine. <laughs> yours is what they've made though. Mm. You know, yours you can't tell it's made out of feathers, which was the point of it, wasn't it? Not always. I mean, they made ones that the feathers were very obvious. compared to mine. Is mine too big? No. Not at all. There's so many bits of feather. Mm. So feather chairs. <laughs> Mine is quite a lot larger than your one. Yes, a little bit. That's Except mine's very tall. It's like I mean mine is too big to go next to the desk. It's very sturdy though. <laughs> but it is too big, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. So I think this will probably be a dining chair or go bedroom. With, or the bedroom or go with the sofa. But yours fits. It's so pretty, it's so delicate. I'm not sure it really goes with the theme, but maybe once we've got all the like little bits in the study, it will look better. Yeah, because at the moment it's just empty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But we have used one of Fairy Acorn's wonderful made pork pie inks with a quill. Not sure if it's too big <laughs> to wait and see with a feather, which I think looks quite good. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Can't quite get the right parts <laughs> for <laughs> what I wanted to do. It's really nice though. I mean, you can make like a nice frame the way you've done the top of your... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it turns out some feathers are like um, Christmas ribbon, where you run a scissors across it and it curls. That's how I made those two curly shapes. Really nice. I just wasn't filming when I did that, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Whereas mine follows the designs of, who did you say? Napoleonic. Napoleonic. Prisoners. Prisoners made them. Prisoners of war. So mine's more traditional. Yours is much more traditional, yes. But like I said, that I could repeat that and yes. make a set for a dining room or something. You could, yeah. But it does, like I say, it's more or less the same size as the so sofa, so it can mm -hmm. go next to the sofa. So yeah, oh, we've also done a little pot of feathers in the corner there of the prettier ones. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. No idea what we're crafting next. Maybe a bookcase. Maybe. We need some wood for that. Yes. But we're going we're to a going place to we can place get some tomorrow wood. Tomorrow we can get it. some wood. So we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you so much everyone as always for every like, comment and subscription. It really does help our channel yeah. more. That's it for this week. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>